today. Lots of things to do. Got to whip to the city, get some parts, uh, get the RV, a few things fixed on the RV so we can get rid of it. Before I do any of that, I need to go for a run. <laughs> Right, that was an excellent run. Try to get back into running. I used to do a lot of running. Actually, some of you may have noticed these in the background. Those are all marathon, half marathon. I've done five full marathons, and I'd, I'd like to do another one sometime soon, maybe like in the next year or so. Running for me is something that as soon as I start doing it, I just crave it. I absolutely love every second of the actual running, but that feeling, that excitement, that love that I have for it, it doesn't carry over through the next day. The next morning I wake up and the thought of going for a run, it's like, oh my word, that's the last thing I feel like doing. As soon as I'm out there, as soon as I'm, boom, I, I'm just like, oh, this is the best thing on earth. I just really wish I could carry that feeling over to the next day so that it wasn't so hard to get myself out the door. That's the hardest part for me. Got to do a couple few things on the fifth wheel, get that thing fixed, we're gonna sell it. Um, we took it all down, the boys have like taken all the skirting out from under it. And a lot of people were wondering, oh, you're gonna keep it and, and go camping? And it's like, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely not. The last thing I want to do is go camping in a fifth wheel that we lived in. We're going to get that thing sold. I think we've got somebody lined up that's going to come down and, and take a look at it this weekend. Uh, but there's one little drain valve where the handle had busted. Uh, you know where you, you drain your water. So i got to pick up one of those. So i got to whoop to Calgary, grab those parts, and then we're going to come back and we're going to get to work here in the shop. <music> So I got the parts that I needed. I'm not gonna put them in right now because it is super duper windy outside and I don't wanna get a bunch of dust in my eyes and uh, I'm probably gonna do that once the wind dies down. But what we are gonna do right now is we're going to do a little bit more work on the frame lock project. <music> build like I do all of my builds and I, I like to have an idea but I'm not the kind of guy that can do really detailed very uh, like really good working drawings build exactly to those drawings and come up with exactly you know how it worked on the drawings that's just not my style I have a lot of respect for people that can do that but I just can't I'm the kind of guy that I just kind of like to go and, and figure it out on the material as I'm progressing so that's how I'm gonna do this build now I do have these drawings done up uh, they're not perfect by any means but there's a good idea of what we're doing here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use these as templates so uh, basically I'll cut these out I'll glue these to the material and I'll and I'll cut out the material based on what these drawings show but from there I'm just gonna kind of start winging it this is gonna be a mock knife I'm gonna do a mock knife first because I wanna figure this stuff out before I go ahead and use the Damascus. So we're just gonna slap this stuff onto some steel, start cutting stuff out, and uh, from there, we'll start getting into figuring out all these little details. Let's do this. So I'm just using the optical center punch to mark these holes. Um, there's a little glass tube, and you see on the bottom of it, there's little crosshairs. Well, maybe you can't, but what you do is you line it up over where your marks are on your drawings or your the marks that you've laid out. So right there, you see those little crosshairs? Once that's lined up, you know that this is exactly centered over the hole. You slide this thing out, obviously while holding it down, and then this thing is a real nice tight fit in there. Drop that in, boom, and this is a little center punch. And that allows you to mark out really, really accurate holes. It works pretty, pretty good. See, so you've got some really nice, nicely marked holes right there, dead center where we want them. It's a pretty good tool for doing uh, precision layout work.
right, so we've got our back spacer roughly profiled out, but it's too thick. So I'm gonna have to take it to the flat platen here and we're just gonna flatten it a little bit. I've kind of done a quick assembly on this part of it. I'm not happy with the gap in there. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'll actually counter bore for these bearings so that they are kind of recessed a little bit into the frames. And, uh, but for right now, even before I do that, I'm gonna get this kind of ground down so it fits in there. I need 2.33. And I'm at quarter inch right now. And I know this isn't the right way to do it, but this is the way that I have to do it. This is just me kind of goofing around, just diving into it, figuring it out. I know there's a lot of things that I'm, I'm gonna change. I'm not even doing anything to its final step right now, but this is just kind of the way that I need to learn how to do this. So let's go ahead and flatten the sucker out. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we can do a little bit more of the uh, final profiling on this as well. All right, so that's not working too well. Right now, basically back here, I'm already at like 0.238, and I'm still quarter inch here. I'm not holding it level even at all when I'm grinding it, so you know what? I may as well just go ahead and throw it in the milling machine. And this is not super precise either. I, I haven't even trammed this thing. I've measured it out, and I know that my milling machine does not, uh, it, it's not perfectly level, but this is just R&D, right? I'm just kind of making a mock one, and uh, Seeing how it goes. When I get to doing the real thing, I'll definitely be a lot more careful with it. And I'll take a little more time. Who knows? Maybe we'll even tram our milling machine, get it nice and flat and running proper, but I just haven't gotten there yet. It's not that far out. It's not too far out, but it's not like really nice and precise. But for this, whatever. Just want to get this close. I don't know how many of these little knives I'm gonna have to make before I get it right. I think it's gonna be a few though. Okay, so I've never ever done this. I've seen people do this. They give it a shot. A little lacquer thinner, clean this off. Take uh, this is the piece that this is the side that's flat. We'll wipe this down. Get it nice and clean. I'm gonna try super gluing it to this block of steel. That way I don't have to use any clamps or anything like that. I don't know. I've seen Alex Steele do it a few times. But I have never tried it myself, so the best way to learn is just to just give her, just do it. Okay. Hmm. Holding so far. Nope, no it's not. Let's kind of bring you in a little closer here. All right, is this, is that gonna hold? We'll see. <laughs> we will see. All right, place your bets. Do you think this is gonna work? All right, let's see if it holds. Well, so far, so good. Now, will this come off? Yeah, easy. All right, well that actually works pretty good. We're a little bit too thin now. We're probably about 10 thou under, which is a lot. I understand that's quite a bit, but just for the sake of getting a few things bolted together and messing around, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be good. Let me see if we kind of tighten this in a little bit. That's actually not too bad. It's definitely, Definitely took off a little more than I had wanted to, but it's gonna work. It's gonna work for what we need it to do. So basically this little sucker will go in here. I should probably clean that off. Super glue does not like breaking down, does it? I definitely think I'll be using that super glue trick quite a bit during this build. Now what I think I should do now is kind of grind. I think I should kind of grind these down a little closer on both sides. My idea is that I'm, I'm gonna get these close and then I'll kind of put this thing together. I'll get this thing in here. I'm gonna drill these holes through all three pieces at once. That way I know they're gonna line up really nice. I can clamp it like that, drill them. And then once that's drilled, then I'll finish the final profiling and, and cutting everything down here. I'm definitely on the right track, I think. You know what, I'm gonna drill these right now. Right like this. 
grab one of these little can twists and we'll just clamp this whole issue together. Yep, we're gonna drill it just like that. All right, so let's just see what the tap drill size is for 256 US screws. 256, let's go, we'll do a number 50. 50 is gone, so we're gonna have to do a 49. Okay, I've only got one of these little suckers, so I hope I don't break it. All right, here goes nothing. really makes me excited. It's actually a lot easier than I thought it would have been. So what is our size? Don't, don't, don't look at my password. Normal fit is a number 41. So we'll take the number 41 drill bit. We'll drill these out to number 41. And we had used the 49 for the tap drill size. Now, I wonder if I even have a 256 tap. I'm also gonna hit all of these holes real quickly on the countersink, just to kind of clean them all up. And we'll uh, I'll go ahead and get these tapped, and then we'll kind of put it all together and see what happens. Okay, 256 tap, 356, it's not gonna do me any good. Zero 80s, oh boy, wait, what is this? 264, 440, oh boy, come on, I better have one. And one of the hardest parts is just reading these. Oh no. Well, after searching everywhere, I do not have a 256 tap. I thought I had one somehow, but I do not. And I was really hoping to get that backspacer kind of bolted up there and get this thing at least kind of, kind of fit together, but I'm going to have to leave it for now. I even looked at different types of screws that I had laying around, but I think I should just hold off and kind of do some of it uh, a little bit more like it's going to be in the end. I don't want to... I don't want to use bigger screws just because I'm, I'm short on patience. So tomorrow, hopefully, I'll grab a tap. Hopefully, I can find one in the city. Uh, we'll get one of those, but I'm going to end this vlog right here. I'm going to head outside and do a little bit more work on the RV, put those parts in that I picked up. But I just want to say thanks, guys, so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, hopefully, real soon, we'll get back to making some more progress on this. Uh, like I say, this is a, a side project, a pet project, so I don't have a lot of time really at all to put towards it, but we are working on it, we are making progress, and I'm pretty excited. This is already a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Cheers. Mm -hmm.